I'm big US comedian for the night. Um, um, no one knows where I'm from, right? You can guess. Never poor. <laughs> By my voice, I mean, I mean racially, right? Never poor. Where? Perth. Oh, Perth. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can comfortably say that you can drop me anywhere in the Middle East and I'll be fine. Right? I'll just appear there. <laughs> like, oh my brother, where do you where you come from? Like, uh Egypt? Oh you're from Egypt, okay, you speak Arabic. Allah <laughs> <laughs> very good. <laughs> you know? I used to be a tall black guy, but then the Chinese girl put me in a washing machine. <laughs> On cold spin, I only came out half. Now I look ridiculous. In Indian, maybe. <laughs> I'm not charming enough to be, for, to be Indian now. I used to date an Indian girl, four foot nine, right? Not like a baby. She was like a, a Vindaloo doll, right? <laughs> she used to rock up to work and be like, hello everybody, my name. How is it going? The weather is great today. <laughs> To the point where I'm like, hello Niyati, how are you doing today? He's like, I don't even talk like that. No, what is, I'm like, everybody thinks my English is great. Great. <laughs> if a curry could talk, it would sound like you, you know? <laughs> that was racist. Oh, was it? <laughs> we don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> my voice though, I'm, I'm partially British. As you can hear, which brings perks, right? The perk of this is I can go to America and any woman loves me for some fucked up reason, right? It's just the voice. I can go to any, I used to live in Los Angeles. I can go into any bar and go, one beer, please. Oh my god! You're from England? That's so cool! Where? Uh, Liverpool. Oh my god! Like the beat off. Is that near London? <laughs> sure. <laughs> the other upshot, right, is I can pretend to be tough without actually being tough. It's the it's all in the accent, right? I was in a bar and some Mexican guy comes. This is a true story. Mexican guy comes in, starts he starts ramping on people, right? He wants to fight. He's high. He's drunk. I don't give a fuck. And he's like, yo man, what the fuck you looking at, motherfucker? And I'm like. This guy's crazy. <laughs> He's going to get beaten up. And then he looks at me and goes, The fuck you say, motherfucker? I'm gonna fucking kill you, man. And I'm like, shit, okay. Um, how do I deal with this? British. Extra British. <laughs> I was like, all right, you little dick. <laughs> if you don't turn around and walk out of this bar, I'm gonna skull fuck you. And you're gonna like it. Whether you like it or not. Camp. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> He's seen the size of me. But this guy was like, yo, dude, this guy's fucking crazy, man. Fuck this. Come on, dude. <laughs> it works. Every time. Racist? We don't know. <laughs> the way I look, though, it, it attracts a certain attention. Like, I attract crazy, right? I can't get away from crazy. Even though the Indian girl I mentioned, she had this thing called perfectly normal girl, except for her height and her accent. <laughs> she did this thing called baby voice that has wound me up. To this day, uh, we haven't even seen each other in years, but I still get pissed off by her. First time I heard it was at a restaurant. She, she we were eating food, good food. She went, oh, I like it. I'm like, what the fuck was that? Who's that you? <laughs> She's like, it is good though. <laughs> I went fucking out, man. It got to the point she did it in the bedroom once, and that was the straw for me. She did it in the bedroom, mid pump. Sorry, ladies. Mid pump, and I hear, Oh, I like it! Oh, nah, 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 nah. I'm like, oh. Whoa! She's fu she already looks like a kid. It doesn't take much for my imagination to go, Okay, now you're a pedophile. <laughs> I was like, We can't do this again. <laughs> the best 
the best fighting talk though I heard was in Spain in a bar. I'm buying a drink and I hear from, I hear from behind me, hey, I'm gonna slap your dick off. <laughs> I'm like, dude, whoever said that must be fucking mental. It's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, actually. I was like, fucking hell, dad. He's <laughs> crazy. I was like, legit. I was like, dad, logistically, how the fuck would you do that? If you're gonna make a threat, at least make it believable, you know? Like, what did? I'm gonna fight you, man. Take it out. What? I'm gonna take it out. Take what out? Take your penis out, man. Why? Because I'm gonna slap it off. That's fucking mental. Looking the way I do, though, I have this incredible ability to be a part of every airport service, right? <laughs> yeah. Because I go into an airport and immediately just, whoa, you need a random check, my friend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm grateful to be of service. Because it's people like me who look like terrorists who stop the terrorists because it makes people aware. I'm a fucking hero. Fucking <laughs> nice. I'm a goddamn national hero. But I shouldn't be saving people because there's too many fucking people. Even in this room, we could cut off for you out. It's fucking mental in here. I can't get to the bar. The world, seven billion fuckers. Seven. It's just women just. Babies constantly, like a machine, they're just baby, 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 baby. What's this obsession with babies? Like, oh my god, have you seen my new, my cousin's newborn baby? It's so beautiful. Is it? It looks like the fucking alien from the thing. It's like, oh, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a mini Michelin man. It's like a bodybuilder's arm. It's fucking horrible. They're weak as well. If you drop a baby, it's fucked. <laughs> Wait right here, can you hold the baby for us? Yeah, shit. Oh, oh, fucked. It's fucked. <laughs> it's like an iPhone. You get one, right? You get one drop. But at least with an iPhone, you can take it to a store and go, sorry, drop that, can you fix it? You do that with a baby. Hey, I drop the baby, can you fix it? No, mate. It's fucked. <laughs> it's broken. You <laughs> think I'll make another one. I'll buy one from Africa. <laughs> Madonna did it. Um, <laughs> uh, t- too many people, man. But we don't need that many people. The people we need, it's it, obvious. You know, doctors, scientists, comedians, <laughs> <laughs> porn stars. These people are consistently useful, right? Consistently useful. And then you've got twats walking around going, Oh, I'm a Sagittarius, which means I can't date anyone who's a Virgo. Star signs are the new form of racism, right? For real. <laughs> You're judging someone not because of the colour of their skin or their racial heritage, because of the day they were fucking born? When, the, when, when, was, when was that acceptable? What the, you can't go to a parent's, like your girlfriend's parent's house and meet new people, and you're like, oh, you must be K. And I'm like, yeah, I'm K. And I'm like, oh, it's great. What do you do for a job? My arm fresh out of prison actually. Killed six people, but got accepted for the evidence. <laughs> One of those things. I'm like, oh that's that's creepy, but it's okay, no, it's okay. When were you born? Uh, 1991. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Even if the dating apps, right? Any of you use dating apps? Don't lie. Immediately, don't lie. <laughs> Silence. I know all of you do. Matched a couple of you. <laughs> 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 but even if you match someone with a, a compatible star sign, the, the app will go, Oh, she's a Capricorn. You two will get on. Just great. <laughs> How the fuck do you know? I could be a serial killer. I'm in a yellow suit. She could be a man. <laughs> How do you know that I'm not going to kill her? It's, it's dangerous. It's, yeah, it's fucking dangerous. Dating is hard though, man. I'm not a serial killer. I just look like one. <laughs> oh, do I? Maybe. <laughs> oh, Virgo stuff, though. It's, I'm a Virgo, right? But people try and analyse me. They're like, oh, I knew you were a Virgo. <laughs> Did you? Yes. How? You're reliable. Most people are. You're intelligent. Uh, maybe. <laughs> it's a common trait. And you're very fussy sometimes. Again, 
very fucking vague. <laughs> Twat. <laughs> right? It's like going to these fortune tellers and like, oh my god, can you tell me about my future? I gotta know. Like, yes, sir. <clears throat> In three months, something very good is going to happen to you. What do you fucking do? Can you be more vague, please? <laughs> three months is way too specific. <laughs> You're going to break up with your girlfriend in three months, that's what's going to happen. Relationships usually don't last that long, so it was a shot in the fucking dark. <laughs> or she's putting messages in my head, right? And I'm walking out going, why am I going to break up with my girlfriend? She should cheat on me. Maybe I should break up with her now. Maybe I should kill her. <laughs> am I joking? <clears throat> you decide. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, what have we learned today? We've learned. We've, we've learned. We've learned about me, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Someone take a random guess where I'm actually from. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria. Yes, my friend. I am Nigerian. What are you saying to me? This anyway, is my guy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm out. Thank you guys for coming down. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.